when I try to imagine what it must have been like to do 172 miles an hour in 1953, I think Norman must have done a fantastic job and he must be very, very brave. Because to do 172 in a modern car is fast enough and difficult enough, but back then it must have been almost impossible. If I could give Andy some boys, uh, is all he's got to do is just keep his foot hard down. Don't lift that little pedal, keep it flat to the board. I mean, we're going back 60 years when I did mine. <laughs> 172 points were always quick. For me, Jaguars have always built fantastic sports cars that really, um, when you're driving a Jaguar, you feel what's going on underneath the bonnet. You feel the engine, you feel the speed. And I think nothing much has changed from, from 60 years ago until now. You still get that same feeling with a Jaguar. So I'm looking forward. Well, the specific challenges that we face, as uh, you might well see, it's freezing cold, it's actually starting to rain now, and the piece of road that we have to do this on is actually very, very bumpy. I think the, the reason for the bumps are the tree roots are actually growing up through the surface of the road. So, uh, yeah, I imagine at uh, nearly 300 kilometres an hour, it's not going to be a walk in the park, but it will be exciting. <laughs> I'm going to try and sneak and run in if I can, you know. <laughs>